today's video brings us to Greenwich. So we're gonna take a little wander around some of the sites. So here we're in the Island Gardens, which is on the Isle of Dogs. And if you look out across the Thames, you can see the Maritime Museum. And on the top of that hill is Greenwich Park and some of the Cutty Sark. We're going to get a closer look at these buildings later in the video. But first of all, we are going to walk through the foot tunnel that goes under the Thames. Here is a start. And see the dome that's over there? That takes us into Greenwich, just at Cutty Sark. Located about five and a half miles from central London, Greenwich is an ideal day trip from the hustle and bustle of the city. Why not relax back in Greenwich Park, admiring the views of the City of London below? Or learn more about the maritime history. You could stand with one foot on the Eastern Hemisphere, while the other foot stands on the West. There's so much to see and do as we explore Greenwich. We took the South Eastern train on the Hastings Line to London Waterloo East. The journey takes just under an hour to get to London. We changed at Waterloo East to catch the tube to Canary Wharf on the Jubilee Line. Don't forget to tap your Oyster card or insert your travel ticket to allow the gates to open. On the DLR, don't forget to tap the little boxes in and out. If you get stopped, you will be fined. Exit Island Garden Station, cross the road and walk down Douglas Park to reach Island Gardens. Island Gardens is located on the Isle of Dogs, offering amazing views of the National Maritime Museum, Greenwich Park and the Royal Observatory. Try to be here just before 1pm to watch the red ball drop at the top of the Royal Observatory. This helped mariners at the time to set their clocks to GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. The entrance to Greenwich Foot Tunnel or the foot tunnel.
The Greenwich Foot Tunnel connects the Isle of Dogs with the south banks of Greenwich. It was opened in the 20th century to connect South Londoners commuting to the Docklands. Now the tunnel is about 50 feet beneath the River Thames and runs about 1,250 feet in length. The long winding steps take you down, but it can't be very pleasant for the cyclists having to carry their bikes up the spiral staircase without a lift. It is cool down here in the summertime. It is damp and it doesn't have a very pleasant smell. Cutty Sark was the fastest ship transporting goods. After its transportation years, it's now available to explore. You can learn more about the goods transported between Britain, China and Australia. After a severe fire in London in 2007, the Cutty Sark went under renovation work to restore it to its former glory. All the yummy food at Greenwich Food Market with different cuisines to try. The smells from the stall makes me feel hungry. It's at this point that the East meets the West, also known as Prime Meridian. Prime Meridian runs from north to south, representing zero degrees longitude. Greenwich Park was a former hunting park with great views over the River Thames and across the City of London. To your right you can see the O2 Arena and to your left, far in the distance, is the Shard. During James I's reign, Henry VIII introduced deer to the park and enclosed the area with a wall. Much of the walls remain. If you're looking for a budget-friendly day trip with the kids, then you must visit Greenwich Park. There's plenty of entertainment, from play areas, a cricket pitch, tennis courts, a duck pond, and even a herb garden. If you want to skip walking through the Greenwich Foot Tunnel, continue on the DLR train to Cutty Sark for Maritime Greenwich, and continue your day trip from here. We really enjoyed visiting Greenwich, relaxing back while admiring the views from Greenwich Park. We hope you enjoyed following us on our journey. Now don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Have you visited Greenwich? What was your highlights? Was there somewhere you visited that we didn't cover? Let us know with a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.